To check your GPU and CPU temperature on the desktop, head over to the link in the description or type in hwinfo. We're going to head over to the link. Once we're on it, we're going to click on free download. And then we're going to get the installer free download, local US. So now let's download it. Click on the download and then click on yes. Click on next. Click on I accept. Click on next again. And then choose wherever you want to install it. Once you do that, click on next. Click on next again. Click on install. And then let's launch it. Click on finish. Click on yes. Once we're on it, we're going to click on start. I'm going to actually skip the update for now because it's not actually needed, but you can update if you want to. But I'm going to close this and I'm going to close this as well. And I'm also going to close out on this. Now I'm going to search and type in hwinfo64 and I'm going to load it up again. Once you do that, we're going to head over to settings. Just in case if settings did not load for you after you typed in hwinfo, you want to head over into the bottom right and click on the arrow. Then hwinfo should appear. Right click on it and then head over to settings. And then you want to copy what I do. So I'm going to untick show system summary on startup and I'm going to tick show sensors on startup and I'm going to tick minimize main window on startup and I'm going to tick minimize sensors on startup. And I'm also going to enable auto start and then click on OK. Once you do that, now we're going to click on start again. Then if you go to the bottom right of your screen, you should see HW info right here. We're going to right click on it and then click on sensors. Once we're on this, we're going to scroll down until we see CPU TCTL TDIE, the first one. So we're going to right click on it and we're going to click on add to tray. This is for the CPU temperature. Then we're going to scroll down until we see GPU temperature, the first one here as well. We're going to right click on it, click on add to tray. Once we've done that, these two should appear right here. If it's not here, then click on the arrow and it should be over here. Then you can drag it over here and it will show your GPU temperature and your CPU temperature. You could also change the color if you want. If you can't really see it properly, you can make it any color you want. And then once you do this, you want to restart your computer. And once you restart your computer, it will always be on your desktop. Because if you close HW info right now, then it's going to disappear as you just saw right now. So you need to restart your computer, then it will be back forever.